I said last game was the last game of the night, but we got a little bit of a win streak going, so we gotta keep it going. Interesting that Pink put units into Australia. I feel like they have no chance at it. Like, I feel like Australia is Black's birthright. They got 3 2 2 here. I feel like that's a, a lot of question marks over my head for Pink going for that. So that's one thing. Uh, if I was Black, I don't know if I would still fight for Australia at this point because there's 4 4. I don't know. We'll see what happens. As red, I've got a lot of stuff in the European area, so I'll probably just start moving stuff into Europe. There is this foreign Madagascar that I want to keep an eye on. I'm going to offer alliances with everybody. That four is in the way. Okay, I got two people to accept. That's good. I don't know where this four is going. Maybe towards Australia? I should move the three up and out of the way. Do you see the finish line to a thousand? I'm probably five games away from top 1,000. What do you think? If I get five wins in a row, I would think I'd be top 1,000. Because uh, we're currently at 1,393. It's close. We're, we're getting close. And I feel like with these games, I've been building a certain amount of consistency. Granted, there's still some weird games, but I'm starting to understand more. It's also one of those things where like I hadn't played Risk in six months. And... Had to come back, dust off some of the rust. <laughs> Five in a row tonight, I'd be playing for the next eight hours. <laughs> That'd be ambitious. I don't know if I have the vocal fortitude to do that much commentary. Takes a lot out of me to talk for like six hours straight. All right, we're going to go for this Ukraine and then buff the two the right i get the feeling that pink is either bringing the four up or he's more likely bringing the four to the right i just want to get out of his way when he does that so white's got a bunch of units in north america i'm waiting for them to move this four so i can move my four into europe pink continuing to invest into australia i think it's possible pink is a low level player who only knows how to play australia because i just don't really know why else you would be doing this so keep an eye on pink for low level plays also pink's been attacking quite a bit in some questionable attacks. So we'll see. Okay, everybody accepted my alliance request. That's good. And yeah, it does look like pink is moving down. So I can bring my three to the right. I gotta boot out this three. Maybe this three hopefully attacks something. Uh, the three probably wants to come into North America. So if I just move my three over a couple squares, maybe that three will come out into Greenland. Okay, four does move out of the way. That's nice. So the four is going to come out in a second. Okay, this two is too weak now. I need to kill it. I can actually take Europe in the next three turns if I'm playing this right. This five wants to come through Middle East, so I'm going to use the bridge while I can. Ideally, I kill this two, but I think I'm more worried about this five killing this one, so I can move this four out right now. Wait, this is my last chance to go for Africa if I want. I don't want to be too close to black. I'm a little bit worried about black because they got the six on Brazil. I just feel like... And they're going to get squeezed because white's going for North America. Black's going to get stuck in the middle between Africa and North America. I don't want to like stick them there. So I'm going to... I have so much in Europe anyway. Everyone's already thinking that I'm going for Europe. I don't want to like surprise anybody. So I'm just going to follow through and go for Europe. And everyone already accepted my alliance when I'm going for Europe. So I feel like they're going to let me have it. I'm only one, two, three, four, six units away from taking Europe. So I can take it with the 12 and then bring the three over. The stats page says my longest win streak is seven. I feel like I got seven wins in a row, like really early on when I made the count. Cause like in the early days I was, you know, I, I was already grandmaster on my cell phone. And then when I was, um, cause I played on the app and then like when I started playing on Steam, it was like really easy to get wins early on. Actually, this three can use this bridge to come left. No, but it's more important for me to take Europe next turn. If I take Europe early before pink has a chance to finish Australia, it'll increase the odds that I hold on to Europe. My longest loss streak is six. Those were the dark days. <laughs> yeah, white's maybe three or four turns away from taking North America. Depends how quickly this eight moves. I feel like if white takes North America too quickly, even if the eight moves into Kamchatka, if white takes North America too quickly, the four might pounce on Mexico. 
So why does it be careful about how they take North America? Four is unfortunately blocking my three. This four is also blocking from... I guess I could go around. Ideally, this four moves down. Now I get one, one move instead of two moves. Oh, now I'm blocked. Definitely blocked in Japan. <laughs> okay. He's going to attack my one. My bridge. Oh, sorry, Mr. Three. You're stranded. Oh, my God. I just realized that Black put 10 in Indonesia. When did that happen? Pink is pissed. <laughs> okay, while, big, while black and pink are fighting each other, that means I'll just be able to hold on to Europe for a couple more turns. And I've got an alliance with white. So white and I are going to be able to trade. Like, he's, he's okay with me holding Europe as long as he gets North America. So I'll move my nine off of this border and let white take North America. For free. I'm going to give him a thumbs up as he's doing it. That way he knows that my nine's not threatening. Hopefully he moves the 5 to the left. I'm going to move my 9 off in a second. He's He might have done a different fortification. Did I not see it? Or is he just leaving that there for safety? I'm going to move the 9 anyways. I have a turn in. I should probably use it just to guarantee that I'm big and threatening. I guess I could leave the 9. He's If he keeps buffing green, then it makes me a little worried. But I need to move this 4 and this 2 in. Those are really important moves. Let's end this stream with a game of Catan. <laughs> Persistence. Damn, could I have maybe killed somebody just now and I didn't calculate it properly? Oh, crap. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used my turn. No, no, no. Everyone's about to do turn-ins right now. We're okay. I mean, it would have been crazy if I was able to, like, kill white right now and end the game. That would be insane. That would have been bonkers, actually. Ah, oh, I wish I did that calculation. I'd love to go back and watch the VOD and see if I could have won the game last turn. Because these guys are going... These guys were each other's necks, you know? Or if I would have just held on to my turn in for one more turn and set up a kill by buffing the 8, and then the 9 kills North America. Oh, the opportunity. Like, look at this right now. They're at combined 70. I'm at 52. Oh, man, that would have been such a sick sneak attack. But if I kill white, then black and pink probably team up on me. They set aside their differences and team up on me. I'm, I'm okay with this. Like, it's the game's definitely going to be longer, but I'm okay with this. Okay, he did a turn in that buffs Greenland by two. I don't think he's going to buff it anymore, though. I want to get the eight onto the 22 so that I can defend all three territories with one single position oh if he attacks black that'd be so sick please do that it's a really close game between me and white we have the same number of units basically we have the same kind of continent so if he can go to war with somebody that would really help me out oh that's 17 oh he's trying to kill black <gasps> he kills black and takes those cards oh no he doesn't He's setting it up though. Oh my god. If he kills black and takes four cards, he's taking a loss, but he's going to hold two continents. But then pink and I would hopefully team up against... No, pink is so weak. He's not going to help. Oh, he buffed up Greenland a little bit more. He's worried about me. I need to let pink back into this game. I need pink to get powerful and for pink to be a good ally so that we can team up against white when white gets powerful. What are my thoughts on taking... Africa right now, then white would definitely attack me. Okay, that's not good. I feel like I need to move my 22 into an active position because no one's going to break my borders. Oh, black just DC'd. That's huge. Wow. I need to take down North Africa now and then start positioning my army towards it to trap black in. Oh, wow. The computer is starting to go ham on white. That's really good. That's really, really good. 
Okay, I wanted to move my three from Japan, but now I want to position it towards black. I want to trap black inside of there so he can't attack Europe from Brazil. The 20 will start putting pressure on Mexico. Hopefully he doesn't break Europe right now. Also, this is in killing position against the uh, pink player. I can kill pink whenever I want. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, pink is getting more powerful now. Keep giving pink hearts. Oh, what's white going to do? I'm most worried about white attacking me from the left. That's my biggest fear. I knew it. Scumbag. I guess the other option, I could have stacked Iceland. That was also an option. <laughs> he figures since he'll never have North America, he doesn't want me to have Europe. We're doing a trade right now. I could just take Africa from here and let the computer attack North America. Let's see what happens. The 20 should attack the 1. Nice. This is really good. As a human player, you never want to be wasting your units on the computer. But if the computer starts attacking you and you don't have a choice, that sucks. Black botted for easy second. It's actually not a terrible idea. Alright, can I kill pink and win the game right now? Pink and white combined are at a total of 77 units. If I kill pink and take those three cards, I think I can win the game. Yeah, I think that's the play. It's close. Let's try it. I think I can just stack everything I have on uh, Siam and win the game. The thing is, I'm going to have a continent bonus, and white is not. White could take Africa, but then they have to deal with this 9 over here. And then I'm going to be poking them from the right. Black is probably going to try and take North America. Just, I'm just thinking about how the computer player is going to act if white takes Africa. I mean, I just need to hold out and hope that white doesn't hold Africa. Because then I'll get the production from holding Australia. This could be okay. If I had another turn in. Oh, this is a crap turn in though. He's going for Europe? No way. No way. Wait, what? Okay. So he's thinking that my 26 can't go left. So he's thinking he can take two continents? That's pretty greedy. I do have a turn in here. It's not a good one, but it's enough to give me some units to break through. He's got to hold an 11 here to hold off this 9. That's right. And he just doesn't have enough to hold all these borders. I don't know what he's thinking. This is really greedy. I think I can use my 26 to just slam all this stuff. 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 units to break into Iceland for me. Four. Oh, I can just go this way. Four. No, I need to kill this stuff too. Four, oh, no, no, I don't. 4, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16 to get into Iceland for my 26. Uh, it's cutting off now. Well, luckily I can break both of these bonuses and move my 26 in. Okay, I have five units, which is enough to break all these continent bonuses and move in my 26. And then if, but if I use my turn in, he's going to wreck Australia no matter what, right? I feel like I should use my turn in, even though it's crap, and just take out as many territories as I can, because he's got 20 territories. All right, this is painful. He's down to 14. That's pretty good. Ugh, sucks. Maybe I should have held on to Australia. I don't know. I mean, he's got four cards. He's probably have a turn in. 
it was a six unit turn in. He probably wasn't gonna break Australia next turn anyways. Maybe I should have put it on uh India instead. Then he had to go around through a three. That's pretty smart for him to attack my 28, actually. This is closer than I would hope. I could take Europe next turn, even. I gotta break Australia. That's a must. I mean, this 12 is already going to attack this 4 for me. Let's see what the computer does, and then I'll react to that. I mean, this 5 could attack this stuff. He only killed one unit, did he really? Yeah, he got super unlucky with the rolls, I guess. I mean, this 5 kills this one, this 5 kills this stuff. Hopefully the 12 comes in. This is so nice that the computer's been doing so much work for me. Finish him. Oh. Honestly, this 8 can go down to the left. I can put the 5 here and block it. I kind of want to do something like this. So I kill that stuff off. I want to kill this stuff off. Block off the 8. He's only got two cards, so he can't break the seven. I think we're good to beat white. Now, can we beat black? Black's not going to reconnect, so it's just me versus the computer. But I'm not going to hold these two contents because of the nine and the 14. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Thank God. All right, he's only got a few units left. Hopefully black doesn't kill him. I can take those three cards. I could really use that. Some good sportsman like from white. Plans for the week? Uh, I don't have any plans. The plan is no plan. Oh, the computer is smart enough to kill white. That's. Her. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, the computer gave me the cards. It's so nice. Wow. I really, I want to really break the nine. That's what I want to do. But I guess I could break the three and then it'll split the nine. I'm going to get three cards. That's a definite turn in. And I can most definitely break into North America. So let's just put one here and gamble the rest over here and hope that it works out. Okay. China's probably the best play here. Oh no, Scandinavia. That's perfect. Yes. Okay, I got black down to 11 so I can stop. I'm probably going to lose Australia, but I just buffed China just to see if I can hold it. Okay, 37 to 57, plus I have three cards. It's actually a close game between, like, I actually, this is very winnable. 
I don't have a turn in yet, but next turn. And Black's a few turns from the turn in, so we're good. Should be okay. I can finish uh, South America and even Africa and maybe Europe? Probably not. This is looking really good, though. Five can't beat the seven. Let's just... Ah, uh, let's try it. <laughs> Did I have a two somewhere? Oh, I don't. I'm going to buff the Africa side because if I lose Australia, it's fine. But at least I can hold off the uh, two continents here. Decent chance that the eight comes and breaks Venezuela, but also decent chance that it doesn't. Okay. Well, we take those. 16 units. Oh my god. And a turn in. Let's go. Middle East is not the play. China is the play. China is the play. Uh, this two is not going to attack next turn anyways, so we'll save it. Definitely need to take Europe next turn. I think a seven should win. And then I need to win three... No, two more territories after that. That's these two. So I'll put like a five here or six. Yeah, five, six. I'll put like a bunch here just to make sure I guarantee I would kill that Europe. And then I'll put the rest. Ah, I can finish off some stuff over here. Oh, I can finish Asia actually. Let's do that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Ah, oh, then China was the play. Dang it. <laughs> Oh, then I don't even need to, I didn't even need these two. I should have just finished Asia. Grr. Curse you, small brain. All right, we got this. No. <laughs> No! At least I hold Asia. Let's go! Oh my god, all these wins tonight. Let's go. White was the master. Yeah. 1200. Oh my God. We're so close to top 1000, but I have to, I have to go to sleep. <laughs>